<laughs> Hi guys, if you're watching this, it's either probably because one, you were diagnosed with APS, or maybe two, you're just on blood thinners. Um, for me, both. I was recently diagnosed with APS and I looked all over the internet and was not able to find anything. So I am attempting a YouTube channel for those of you that are looking. Uh, today is actually my second day on a off brand of Lovenox. Um, and I feel like I have quite the hangover. If you can't tell by what I look like, my face is swollen, my body aches, I have migraines, but apparently all of this is very, very normal. Um, so yeah. So yesterday was actually my first day and I was very fortunate enough to have a friend that actually has um, been on Lovenox in the past. So she kind of like walked me through the first round and like, well, she did it the first round. <laughs> so um, I was lucky, lucky enough to have that. Um, okay. So you, I pinch hard. Yeah. I pinch really hard. Watch out, baby. Can you sit so mommy can do it? So that way it starts like cutting off circulation. You can't feel it. Mm -hmm. And you just literally just jab it in. And then you pull it out, make sure there's no blood. And then. So you do pull out. I do, but you don't want to. Oh, that's the part that hurts. The other part I didn't even feel. So. I see. I told well, you the medicine. I didn't feel. You don't have to do, you don't have to With do it ice. slow. For tonight, me and my husband did it on our own, which was a little bit more nerve wracking, but I think it went pretty well. Okay. <laughs> So we're good you recording or whatever mm -hmm. all right what's up you two land <laughs> you gotta take it from the side to squeeze this one are you just supposed to pull the shit out i don't know that's what she said just pull hard i don't want to poke myself Say twist? I don't know, but I'm gonna put the ice pack back on. Let me see the box. <laughs> Is there anything even in here? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna show you guys how to do a anticoagulant shot. Oh, it says remove the needle shelf by pulling it straight off the syringe. There you go. Simple enough. All right. Ah! Got a needle. Did you clean no, it? You're, I already cleaned it, but you're freaking me out. All right. Dude, I got this. <laughs> you're freaking me out. What? You got to squeeze. Uh, you're going to do it? Mm -hmm. Let me know when you're ready. Oh, the, the the stuff inside it. All right, so that was it. Um, what we've got here, let me put the cap back on the needle. All right, so this was uh, Levinox. Levinox? Levinox. Um, dealing with APS here. So what we did was uh, took, what'd you do? You just go ahead. You, yeah, you do this. <laughs> so I iced it first, and then I wiped it down. And then... Um, he poked me because I'm too scared to do it just yet. Okay, so we'll go through the process. <laughs> um, we didn't really get in depth. This is our first shot time doing this. Um, so basically she iced herself for about 10 minutes. That was a, a nurse's suggestion of ours suggested that just to kind of help with the, uh, the initial penetration of the pen. And basically once that was done, it was good and numb. You take one of these. Um, find that one of the coordinates apparently i got six pack abs but um, <laughs> you know pocket here pocket here pocket here pocket here and uh grab the grab the skin grab some fat kind of squeeze it out take this bad boy once you figure out how to get the cap off <laughs> pull it off it's already preloaded this one is just pop that sucker right in you don't have to get a vial or or any of that stuff and try to you know manually pull it out into the syringe so that's that stay tuned on our journey it's burning and it's burning <laughs> um so i've been like part of all these facebook groups and whatnot and i kind of asked around today about um like 
starting Lovinox and how you feel and whatnot. And apparently the hangover feeling is like a universal feeling for most. Some people say it even lasts up to like a week. Um, but it's just your body getting used to like the blood flow and all that. Um, for me, I have APS. Um, I was diagnosed it because I had um, three miscarriages, one being twins. And um, for the longest time, we could, just couldn't figure it out. But after the third time, they finally ran tons of tests and it all pointed back to APS. So um, I just recently, like a week ago, was diagnosed with APS. And um, I'm still learning a lot about it, but I'll share with you as I learn. And um, my doctor prescribed me Lovenox now because I'm still trying to get pregnant. And um, being that I've lost the past pregnancy so early on, she thinks it's a good idea to start it like as soon as ovulation period's over to get it like in your system and whatnot so that in case you do get pregnant, it'll be there and ready for it. Um, Maybe y'all guys are a little bit different. Just let me know. I don't know. Uh, 